These scientists and engineers helped make the space shuttle possible. Most work for NASA, but this was the employee reunion of the NACA. Between 1917 and 1958, the National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics, NASA's forerunner, was a pioneer of research and development. The NACA also worked with pioneers. All the right and Lindbergh, Charlie Lindbergh, and the demonstration when I took various parts off the airplane and made it nice and smooth and how much it increased the speed. Aerodynamics was 80-year-old Aubrey Harris's expertise. He told engineers a plane's landing gear had to go. And I put my hand on his shoulder and said, listen, young fella, if the thing that you have to do is not what I have to do, I've showed you what it would do for the airplane. You have to design the structure. That's your problem. Harris and 85-year-old Percy Keffer say the hours were long and there was no overtime, but they loved it. Oh, yeah, it was uh, more than a job. Oh, yeah. We all worked hard and we, we were faithful to our duties and, and uh, enjoyed our work. The pioneers' enthusiasm paid off. The NACA's 41 years of research and development gave NASA a good foundation to move into the space age and beyond. And if you look a little bit forward then onto the uh, uh, shuttle, you find that this is uh, very similar in many ways to uh, what the X-15 and some of the early airplanes and the technology that came from those has been expanded into that. Eric Reynolds, The Daily News.